So I love the Partner Summit event. I mean, Cisco is one of the, the few infrastructure providers out there that has a discrete event that is focused on its partner community. Um, that's important because 95% plus of uh, Cisco's selling motion is through the channel. Um, I appreciate this event because when I worked in corporate America um, for a good part of my career, uh, it was spent in the channel, both uh, in channel sales as an individual contributor, managing sales teams, as well as managing channel marketing teams. So it was great at a very high level, as you could expect, some very par partner centric um, occurrences. One, a consolidation of um, the compensation programs for partners. Uh, traditionally, there have been three. Um, you know, partners don't like, you know, uh, you know, different moving parts. And so Cisco wisely is now folding these three different incentive programs into one. Uh, this is going to take some effort. It's going to take uh, a couple of quarters. So they expect to complete it, I think, by about the middle part of next year. But what I like about Cisco's approach is they're inviting partner input into that to refine that to make sure that they're hitting all the right things for partners. So that was big news. Another piece of news, um, Oliver Tusik, uh, I call him the Energizer Bunny. Um, he's, he's led the partner um, selling organization globally for the last, I think, five years. Um, there was an announcement that um, Oliver is going to be moving back to Europe, and uh, he'll actually be the uh, EMEA uh, president and leader. And they announced an executive uh, that's coming from Microsoft that it's going to take Oliver's place for partner. Uh, he has a lot of experience at Microsoft. His name is Rodney. I'm forgetting his last name. Um, so shame on me. But I did write a Forbes article, and all of that is contained in the Forbes article. So I would encourage you know our viewers to go check that out. So that was sort of the partner um, piece of it. There were some product announcements, uh, one around security. And so to make it simpler for partners to sell Cisco's security portfolio, they've created security suites. There are three uh, initially that have been created, G2 Patel, that leads both security and collaboration for Cisco, got on main stage and spoke about these. Again, the details are, are in that Forbes article. Um, but I'll also mention we were talking about observability. Cisco's leaning very, very aggressively in observability, obviously the Splunk acquisition. Thousand Eyes, you know, you mentioned it, Pat, App Dynamics. I mean, really, I believe the company is raising the bar. And once the Splunk acquisition closes, that's going to be a very high bar. Um, Cisco's already in front of that. Um, at Partner Summit, they announced seven new um, observability sales modules that focus on different aspects of the business and basically allows partners to build a managed service practice. And so that's huge from my perspective because that really moves the value-added reseller into a strategic consultant um, you know, type scenario. And there's more profit, there, there's more, you know, there's there's more revenue that's tied to that managed service sort of path for um, for partners. And and I spent time in a breakout with some executives as well, where they're not only with observability, but they're 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 looking at different programs that can move kind of just those box pushers those value-added resellers into more of the managed service realm. And that's a great thing. And that's going to create stickiness for Cisco from my perspective, because at the end of the day, I mean, there are other solutions out there. I mean, Cisco may have the best observability platform in town, but certainly they have competition with HPE and Dell, you know, and, and Lenovo and others uh, when it comes and Juniper networks. And I could go on and on and on when it comes to networking and security infrastructure. Yeah, so I'm not going to add incremental value to the uh, event because I wasn't there. I just wanted to have a commentary on on what um, some things I see going on at Cisco strategically. You know, forever, probably five years ago, in a five or six years ago, in a meeting with uh, Chuck, uh, really talking about, hey, you know, hey Chuck, how do you make money on the, on the public cloud, right? Because mm -hmm. um, they're you know doing some of their own silicon. Um, a lot of the services that you offer, they, they create themselves, right? Um, how, how, how are you going to monetize uh, that increasingly? And, and what they've come out with is, first of all, they come up with a, a co-development program uh, on Silicon uh, with Silicon One uh, for the CSPs 
uh, which by by the way, uh, their definition of service providers is CSP and folks like you know AT and T, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, on, on the carrier side, and they came up with uh, a cross-cloud networking uh, service, and they've got a cross-cloud observability. So, regardless of where they're doing their core uh, core switching uh, in, in there, they get a toll uh, regardless, right? Mm -hmm. And and you know, I think that they add Splunk, and they just turbocharge um, big time observability. And it is funny. I don't think I, I think I think that um, uh, well. First of all, Splunk is used a lot for security. Okay, my my nephew actually got his security admin role because he was so good at Splunk uh, at the uh, uh, at the university. But I feel like there's a bigger play here yeah. that nobody's talking about, uh, and potentially having some sort of a data fabric that uh, that goes across. Um, uh, everything, but you know, Cisco. I wouldn't expect them to 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 lay that uh, lay that hand out there because it would be uh, super yeah. secure. No, so, I yeah. uh, no, I was just gonna say, Pat. No, I just to kind of add to your your point there. You know, I call you know the Splunk you know acquisition. It's a kitchen sink, right? So you're right. A lot of the discussion's been around security, but but it brings so much more. It brings network assurance. I mean, it brings a whole host of you know, um, additional capabilities with application, cloud native application protection and that sort of thing. So I, it's really a kitchen sink. So I think, you know, a lot of the press has been around the security, but I think there's there's a lot more there to your point. 